We're gonna go back and forth between these two extremes of what we're capable of physically. We're trying to challenge ourselves to you know, train with the best of the best. Going hot. Going hot. Let's uh, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Let's rock it. Uh, the ground is incredibly uneven, logs are everywhere. It's a shit show. It's an absolute shit show. I'm Rod Giltaka. I've got a company in southwestern British Columbia called Civil Advantage Firearms Training. All right, text me the word Bravo. Blue circle, blue circle, blue circle! That's a testament to how much stress and how much stimulus that they're having to deal with. You have to be conscious of your diet. You can only expect to get out of your body what you put into it. Uh, I'll take a sausage and egg McMuffin. Active shooter course, battle line tactical putting this on with Chris Peranto as our instructor. When you're clearing a room, you have to be able to engage while you're actually entering that room. We're not just doing self-defense anymore. We're talking about fighting an active killer, an active shooter. Learn different skill sets from a broad range of instructors. Who shot better? Okay, let's just start shooting. To see these two guys really seem to care about their training. Situational awareness. Most people right. have none. They're, their face is buried in their phone. Every single step is a calculated risk. We got Gabriel, he's from the IDF, all the way from Israel. He's gonna do some close protection with us. Today we're doing some Krav Maga, so I think we're taking a bit of a beating. How to react and be aggressive if necessary. Take the beast out to turn on beast mode. What can you ride? Move, move, aggressive. Good job. Oh, you're gonna get cut up knees, all kinds of shit. That's fighting. If you shoot me in the fucking face, I'm gonna be mad. Jared Ogden, former Navy SEAL. It's gonna make you manage that trigger. I was talking to Jared earlier, he said that uh, I could have been a Navy SEAL. I think you're uh, missing one or two other requirements. I, they definitely were not afraid to fuck up on, on camera. It is game day. And let me tell you, the stakes are high. Correct, driver's side! Throw in some curveballs, you know, amp the stress with a little bit of physical training. But I heard about this handgun league in Ontario called the ODPL League. This league integrates uh, tactical concealment elements into the actual game itself. Captain America! Only bigger. <laughs> these shows where deficiencies really are um, exaggerated when things go wrong. As usual, Doug was trying to weasel his way out of that one. Not gonna happen. We're counting. We're doing stuff that, you know, we do it time and time again. Pretty soon I'm not even thinking about it, I'm just doing it. Uh, I showed you that's that primate brain just kicks in and you gotta go, go, go. Get in there. Anytime you're introducing new elements, it totally and completely changes the game. Half my skill set, I felt like it just vanished. We're here training some special forces dogs with Josh from Bat and Canine. The obstacle work and agility and control, this ain't pet smart. When I tell you to stay, it's stay. It's for your benefit and the benefit of the operator and around you. You want to work the Brindle one, or you want to work the brown one? Well, why don't we try the other... Killer? Um... Right, you got any last words? Ow! Hopefully inspire others to try to come out and do these things. Maybe they're not in the best shape. We're going to try to really challenge them uh, psychologically and physically. You see where they break down. That's fun. <laughs> I'm glad he thinks it's fun. Ha, ha, ha.